Hi everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How's it going? I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, last week, um, I was away for the week. I was working at the Candlewood uh, Lake um, <clears throat> uh, Fishing Camp for Kids, um, which if you guys who follow me on Instagram saw that I was working, uh, you know, it's a it's a camp for kids that are, um, um, I think, 9 to 16 of the, is the age group. And, you know, you take them out fishing and we've got like a bunch of guides and we take the kids fishing uh, two sessions throughout the day. And it's like, it's like summer camp, but with bass fishing. Like, it's not just going to a pond and, you know, throwing, you know, bobbers and worms and stuff. This is like real serious bass fishing with, you know, a lot of good sponsors, and, you know, Kai Tech and other, you know, big names that, that sponsor the the, um, the camp. And the kids use, you know, you know, we have rods and reels for the kids and the kids bring their own stuff. And these are kids that are like serious about bass fishing. And so it's really cool. And I got a, a good friend of mine, Chris, is like uh, one of the directors there. So, you know, he said he needed uh, some help with some guides. So I went over with the boat for a week and it was fun. Had a lot of fun. So I just got back on um, and Saturday and I, I, it's Thursday. So I think I've recovered um, from sleeping in a cabin for a week, which I haven't done since, you uh, know, probably about 35 years. So <laughs> it was different, but it was definitely fun. And I'm probably going to go back at some point this summer. Um, but um, the week before I went away, I actually went over to Bass Pro. It was one of the, you know, if you guys live in the Northeast, you know how much rain we've had. And it was one of those pouring rainy days, so my wife and I decided to take a ride over to uh, Hookset, New Hampshire, to the Bass Pro. So I got a few things I figured I'd show them to you guys. Um, you know, I can't, can't go to Bass Pro and not get some Zoom trick worms. So I grabbed some of the watermelon, and I always like, I know I've told you guys, I always like these ones with the chartreuse tails. So I grabbed a bag of the watermelon red. You know, you can't go wrong with watermelon red. I like that chartreuse tail, too. So I grabbed a pack of those. You know, I love the trick worm. And this is the great time of year for the trick worm. In the summer months when the water's really warm. Even though on Candlewood, I couldn't get anything going on it. Um, I also got the uh, methylate color. And I got two bags. I actually have one bag in the boat, so I haven't tried it yet. But I think it was, a, I want to say, a Randy Blockett video. And he was talking about how this methylate color is really good in the summertime. You know, that post-spawn. And I haven't tried it yet. I've, I, I never even had a, a bag of these, of this color. So um, whenever I ordered them online, they were out of stock or, or whatever. So I did see some on the shelves there at the Bass Pro. So I grabbed a couple bags. So I'm going to try that um, and see how it works. Uh, I would think this would be good, like a dirty watercolor, but, you know, everything up here, most of the lakes are pretty clear. So we'll see. So I'll let you know how I make out of it. So I got two bags of those. There's one. The other one's in the boat. Um, I got a couple bags of the... Um, Bass Pro Finesse Eek. I guess they call it Finique Worm. Fin Eek. So it's like their version of the of the uh, of the Zoom Trick Worm. So I figured let me grab a couple bags. And this is the uh, dirt color. So I think any I, I like finesse worms, so any brand, I don't mind trying them out. I don't have a lot of the Bass Pro versions. But I was just looking at some of the colors, and I think this is a cool looking color. This dirt color is a cool looking color. It's almost like I think the bottom is a pumpkin and the top's a watermelon, if I was going to guess what those color, that color scheme is. So it looks like it's a, a split between a, a pumpkin and a watermelon. So it's kind of cool. So, I mean, it doesn't really look, if you compare it to a trick worm, pretty much looks like the same mold to me. I mean, if you hold them right next to each other, <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, you know, that's the Bass Pro and that's the Zoom. I mean, do you really see a, a big difference there? I think they're pretty much cut from the same mold. So there you go. So if you're at a Bass Pro, maybe you can save a little. Not that, not that trick worms are expensive, but, but that's the that's the dirt color. 16 pack, six and a half inch bait. So I'll throw these around. And the other one I got is that Houdini color, which is very similar, but it's a natural color I like, and I get that in a lot of the Bass Pro baits. So that Houdini color is really cool. I don't know what you would call it. It definitely looks like a watermelon red with a black flake on top. I don't know what you would call that bottom color. It's almost like a clear. I'm not really sure what you would call it, but it's a really it's a nice looking, nice looking uh, creek, um, uh, finesse worm. And I'll throw on a shaky head. Throw on, you know, I like throwing on that slider head. It is the time. Uh, it is worm fishing season, summer months. Um, I also grabbed, um, I was like, and I probably to the point where I forget the colors that I have, but every time I see like a, a D bomb, a missile bait's D bomb flipping bait color that I don't think I have, I'll, I'll grab it and I'll bring it home and find, 
why did I have one? But if you got a couple extra packs, it's not a big deal. I like flipping these. This is the uh, Bayou Flash. So I haven't even gone through my uh, D-bombs yet to see if I have this color. But I saw it on the shelf, and it looked kind of cool, and I didn't think I had it. So that's the Bayou Flash. So if you're thinking of getting a D-bomb in the Bayou Flash, it looks like a... I don't know if that's a black, necessarily. It almost might be a black neon on the, on the one side, which I guess you would call... These don't have eyes, really, which kind of signifies the top and the bottom. I don't think it matters with a D-bomb. Now, it almost looks kind of, to me, like maybe that's a black neon and then a purple. I might be wrong, but it's just still cool. Nice dark bait. Anything with purple in it I like. Purple and black. Can't go wrong. So that's the D-bomb. One of my, one of the, the flipping baits that I like. I usually have on, tied on somewhere when it's flipping season. But that's the Bayou Flash. So if you're thinking of getting that, that's what it looks like. The other one I got was the Copper Chopper, which I may have. Once I got it home, I said I might have that one, but it looks cool. So missile baits are not expensive. So if you have a couple backup uh, packs. It's not a bad thing. And it's just like a, you've got that blue and then you've got that green pumpkin. Those are really a cool, cool combo there. Just gives that, that green pumpkin just a little extra. And sometimes when I throw these D-bombs, I might put a little orange on these little side flappers here. Or maybe just a little bit on the ends of these, the big ones. So you can see there's like line segments on them. Maybe I'll do the first three on the bot from the bottom up. Put a little orange on there. Give it a little extra color. Especially once those crayfish start getting some orange in their claws. But I love flipping the deep on. It's a good bait. Good bait. Um, so that's the soft plastics I got. I didn't get a ton of stuff. I had like a 70... I had a gift card. I didn't know how much I had on it still. It turned out I had like $78. So I paid for like almost my whole thing. My whole order. Because I got some other stuff. My wife got some clothes and stuff. Um, then I got a few hard baits. And, you know, stock for a lot of places is, is low right now. The Bass Pro is not bad. Some things, stock totally full. To me, the hard baits are a little, or you can tell they're a little bit lacking. Um, but you can, you know, go through everything, and it's actually maybe easier to find stuff because there's not as much clutter on the shelves. It's not like just a wall of baits, and you just you don't know what you want. Um, so I kind of could go through the things and see if there was any colors or something different that, 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 I, that I liked. Um, I did grab, I, I do like throwing the DD-10. And this, I, I didn't have this live largemouth color. And I saw it there and said, I'm going to grab one of them. It's just too cool looking. See if I can get the pack off. So I don't know if this is a new color or I just haven't seen it yet. But it, you know, for you guys who like throwing those, you know, 10 foot, 12 foot divers, the DD-10, it's hard to beat. Very popular bait. And I, I have kind of gotten away from throwing them the last few years, but I bought some lately, so I'm going to probably get back into it. But that live live largemouth is really, it's really a pretty cool paint job on there. So I'm going to try that out soon when I, when I get out fishing. So there you go. That's the DD-10, the, the Rapala DD-10. Dives 210, dives 10 feet. And that's the, what was that called again? Something largemouth. The live largemouth bass. So... If you're thinking of getting it, it looks pretty cool. They've really stepped it up as far as their paint jobs go, in my opinion. Um, then I grabbed a few jerk baits. You know, I love jerk baits. Um, I like this uh, Strike King, the Sugar Daddy color, and this is the this is the 300. Yeah, this is the KVD the 300 series. Their bigger size, which I forget how big the 300 size is. I don't know if it's a five inch bait. I forget, but that's their bigger size, the 300. And it's that sugar daddy color. Just kind of like it looks like kind of like a perch type bait fish type. So this should be good like for spring bass fishing. I didn't think I had the 300 in that sugar daddy color, but that's cool. It should be good this spring or next spring. Get up to Champlain again, maybe for the uh, for the uh, spring trip. This should be a good uh, good bait to try out. That's the Strike King KVD 300 right there, jerk bait, suspending jerk bait. So that pack is in the garbage. I can put these away now. DD10 box in the garbage. All right, and then I grabbed a couple uh, Lucky Crafts. I haven't bought Lucky Crafts in forever. But when they have them there for $9.99 and the color's cool, I haven't bought, I can't remember the last time I bought a, a Lucky Craft jerk bait, but the, they had some nice paint jobs. And um, $9.99, I figured we'll give them, a, give them a shot. 
And this is the, the Lightning Pointer. It's a 98XR, and this is the B.E. Gill color. B.E. Gill. I'm not sure what B.E. stands for. But it looked cool in the pack, and it wasn't 20 bucks, so give it a shot. So that is what the Lucky Craft jerk bait, what did I call that again? The Lightning Pointer, nine, uh, 98 RX, four inch bait, half ounce. Uh, dive six, seven feet, and these all suspend, I assume. Pretty sure they do. But there you go, nice little jerk bait. I haven't thrown a Lucky Craft in a long time. I didn't really throw a Lucky Craft much the last few years, when I think about it. Every now and then I'll dig the old pointers out and give them a shot. But when I saw these, these ones, they were these nice bluegill type, uh, you know, patterns. I thought they might be good for, for the springtime. So there you go. It's that lightning, lightning pointer. 98 RX. Four inch bait. Half ounce. Should be able to chuck it pretty far if it's a half ounce. And the last one I got was the lightning, uh, the lightning pointer 110 SP suspending. Um, I'm not sure if that one suspends because this one says suspending on it. This one doesn't, so I'm going to assume maybe it doesn't. Um, I'd have to look it up online. But if you guys have thrown these, uh, the lightning pointers, the 98, let me know if it suspends or not. <clears throat> but I'll check online see if it might have more info on the website or on a website. So this is the uh, Flake Golden Sunfish. Looks good. There's not too much glare there. This is a bigger bait, so this is the 100. This is, a, this is like your, or the 110. This is, a, this is like your typical 110 jerk bait. There you go. Nice paint job. Nice sharp hooks. Very nice sharps. This should be, this should be a real good bait in the springtime. Shake the whole table. <laughs> the video's gonna get you guys. Keep shaking, but that's nice. It's that 110, that uh, Lightning Pointer 110 SP. So I don't know if the Lightning series is something new from Lucky Craft. Like I said, I haven't bought Lucky Craft in a while. But when I saw them on the shelf there, they didn't have a lot, but they look cool. And I like those colors. I like those gill colors, those perch colors. And that's a golden sunfish, those sunfish colors. So that's it. So that's what I, that was my haul uh, from, um, from Bass Pro a couple weeks ago. I to, that gift card was burning a hole in my pocket, so I wanted to go use it. Um, actually, I forgot I had it. <clears throat> and I saw it in a drawer and said, eh. <clears throat> it's another pouring, raining day, so why don't we go over? And then, of course, as we're driving over there, um, it's pouring rain so hard you can barely see there's an accident because somebody went off the road, probably hydroplaning, and sat in traffic for 20 minutes. But it's, a, it's an easy ride from where I live over to hook set to the... Uh, to the Bass Pro. So uh, that was my haul. Um, I, I did go to, a, there's a local place, Sam's here in New Hampshire, right up in Keene. I may not actually be in Keene, right outside of Keene. And they have the HD tackle baits, and I just happened to be in there the other day looking for a few things, so I grabbed a couple of their, uh, the HD tackle, their Hel Helgramite. And this is the color Lights Out. Let me show these to you quick. I don't know if I've ever shown these to you before, but some lakes, I don't know if all lakes, and I don't know necessarily up here yet what lakes have these. But these helgies that the, the bass and the fish eat in the springtime, I don't know if it's so much of a summer meal. But in some lakes, um, this can be a real good thing to throw around in the springtime. Now, it says lights out. To me, it looks like black. But um, that's the HD Tackle 10-pack. Uh, eh, so 10-pack, I think they're like $6.99, which I don't know if that's expensive. As far as they go online, they might be cheaper. But, you know, when I can buy some stuff local, I always like to do it. So I got a pack of them. I might just throw them on a Ned. That might be a good uh, good Ned, Ned option. Uh, it's only a four-inch bait. And once that head starts to get chewed up a little or, you know, or ripped up, you can just switch over. You can make it even smaller. Um, here's another pack of the Helgies. Oh, actually, the, see, this, this one didn't have the... This actually has all the info, so I'll show you. If you guys have never seen the HD Tackle before, they make some cool stuff. And so that's the uh, H, uh, Tackle HD Helgramite 5-inch. 10 pack, and this is HD Magic is this color, which to me looks like a green pumpkin magic, which you know I love. Oh, $5.99, what's wrong? The price is $5.99. So the Tackle HD Helgramite, it's five inch. I thought it was a four inch. I guess I was wrong. Nope, five inch, so I'm wrong, five inch bait. I was gonna say, it's pretty big for a four inch. But I saw this one, I said, you know what, that color is really awesome. 
And I, and I thought I had some of these around somewhere, so I might have, I might actually have a couple of these bags. I gotta look on my rack. But there you go. You know I love this color. Then five inch bait, drop shot it, put it on a Ned, shaky head. You know, I would like, I would like to throw a worm. I think this would probably be, you know, even though a five inch bait, I don't usually really drop shot with five inch baits, but this might play. It's something different to show them. It's definitely got some differences to it. That's pretty cool. You guys have never seen a Helgramite before. I've never actually seen a live one in the water, if anybody ever has. I never have. I don't know if they're just crawling around the bottom when the water's cold. I don't know what they do in the summer. So ask your local biologist. But there you go. There's the Helgi. And the Tackle HD. Um, here is the uh, Bloodshot, which is watermelon red. And there's their 5-inch 10-pack, $5.99. And you guys know what watermelon red looks like, and that's a nice watermelon red. Nice natural color. Be great in the clear lakes up here. And what I like is he's got that head part. It's got some, it's got some meat to it, so it's not going to just tear up because this back is very thin. If you put a hook through this, it's going to just tear up on you. So what's nice is you'll have, you can have your, if your Ned, if you decide to do a Ned or however you decide to rig it, you can have this free flowing um, tail. Because this is a lot thinner plastic, you guys can see that. See, it's a lot thinner pra pla uh, plastic that last like, parts that segment. I wouldn't say half of the bait, maybe three quarters of the bait. So it's cool. So it's nice having this the heavier plastic up here. You can fit a net in there nice. Shaky head, drop shot hook, no problem. The Carolina rig, guys? I don't know. It might play a little bit. There you go. So I just picked those up. They didn't come from Bass Pro. I got them at uh, Sam's here, which is a outdoor store. It has a small uh, tackle section, so I grabbed a few of them. If I can never buy anything from the the local tackle shops, I'll grab something here and there because I, I I love to keep them going. I hate when tackle shops go away. Uh, but that's it, guys. I thought I'd check in with you, show you the Bass Pro order, um, show you that couple things I caught up in uh, town, tell you about camp a little bit. I may put all the pictures. That I took um, and if you guys follow my Instagram page you've seen them of some of the fish the kids caught on the boat with me and that I caught um, put that all together and kind of just talk about the camp a little bit I'm no expert <laughs> the camp I think has been going on for three years and I've done one week um, so I'm new to it um, you know because I have a friend who's involved that got me involved and but it's something that I like doing and if it continues I would definitely probably continue to be involved because it's fun um, I don't think I could do seven weeks in a row <laughs> <laughs> that would be tough because, um, uh, you know, uh, I'm not used to camping and things like that, but uh, it's really not that bad. It was kind of, it was different. It was fun. Um, it's kind of one of those things where you go like a couple of days and you think, oh, this week is going and all of a sudden it's over. So, uh, and then you realize how much fun the kids had, which is the important part. Um, uh, the boat ran great, even though my um, cranking battery was uh, giving me some problems, but it's completely user error. I hadn't checked my cranking battery in a while, and it was really low to almost dry on water when I got it home. I was wondering why it wasn't, because I, I got to the ramp to launch, and I went to put the motor down, and it just went, I was like, this ain't good, and I had just charged it up. So um, when I recharged, when I jumped it, um, it was fine, and it was fine the rest of the week charging it every day, um, and then I got home, and I, right now I'm in the process of completely washing i'm washing every inch of the boat that i can get my hands on my bilge area was filthy um mostly from my old house where i used to live there were trees that hung over the driveway and leaves would get back in there and just dirty you know whenever it would rain and it just it just got like where it used to be white it was like black literally black and just um a combo of bleach and water spraying it in there power wash in the areas it looks like almost brand new um just in a few days of doing it and i waxed it um, so the boat is getting some much needed TLC. Um, but as far as the cranking battery goes, it was me just ignoring the water and the water was low and that's why it wasn't holding a charge well. Um, so I went and bought, I actually bought a new cranking battery. I'm going to put that in and so that should solve my issues. It was really just user error and just not uh, paying attention to my, to my, the water levels in the, in the uh, cranking battery, which usually I check those at the beginning of the year. I guess I just didn't do it. I don't remember now. Back in April when I took the shrink wrap off, I don't know if I checked the water levels on it. But for whatever reason, um, I bought a new one. It may be fine now. I put water in it and it charged up, and now it's 100% sitting on my bench up in the garage. But 
I don't really trust it anymore because I abused it, so I figured let me just buy a new one, um, which I have to bring back, so I don't have to pay for the core. Uh, but that's it. So um, uh, this week I haven't fished. I came back Saturday. Now Thursday, so I've been just working in the yard and just doing some things around the house and things like that and um, getting ready for next week. My buddy's coming up. We're going to do some fishing around here, so maybe I'll get some on-the-water stuff for you guys. But I did find, you know, on Candlewood that all my pop bars, we did a lot of top water fishing, which was good at times. And I went through my pop bar box. Um, maybe I'll do a video on just pop bars. I have a lot of them. As you notice, these have no hooks. I had a lot of them with crappy hooks. So I was taking, like, pop bars out to give them to kids to tie on. Here, try this, try this. And I, every one I take out, oh, these hooks are crap. These hooks are crap. <laughs> so I haven't gone through my pop bar box in a while and fixed hooks. So I've got, like, I've got, like, hooks all over the place here that I'm that I'm replacing, but then I found out I don't have any feather hooks left, any feather. And I like a feather trail, a treble hook on the back of my pop bar, and I didn't have any left. I had like two, and that was it. So I just ordered some from uh, Land Big Fish, because Dick's family town didn't have any. So you can, as you can see, I've got hooks on the front, and a lot of these, some of them have none. That's actually an old chug, chug and spit right there. That's an old, that's an old one, if you guys have any of those. But I could do a video just on pop bars if you guys want to see that. But my, some of my old Rebels. And I got a nice hook on the front. And the back feather hook was just rust. Just totally. You couldn't even, like, I couldn't even clean it up anymore. You know, they had no barb left. I was just, forget it. Just throw them away. I'll get some new ones. So I got, like, six or seven, eight pop bars here that are <laughs> definitely going to get new hooks. Because uh, the top water season is here now. So if you're on Candlewood, the top water bite in the morning is pretty good. At night, actually, I take that back. In the morning, it wasn't great. At least for us. Um, at night, when it would start to get darker, that's when it really started to pick up. So that was when it was good, like about 7 o'clock. That sun started to go down. That was when it really started to pick up. It seemed like to me in the morning when you thought it would be good, it really wasn't. At least not for me. There could be somebody else that was out there who might tell you the exact opposite. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, I did make, like I said, I made a small order from uh, Land Big Fish. I got some of those. Uh, uh, they had some... Uh, <laughs> it's funny about Land Big Fish. I always joke that they have sales all the time. I think Friday... No, today's Thursday. So um, I th I think like last night or the night before, so Tuesday, Wednesday, I, I, they had um, DMC feather hooks on sale. So I'll just get some of those. And they ordered those up, and I threw in a few Zoom things just to get to 50 bucks, get free shipping. And then an the email today says they have a 20% sale. <laughs> so if I waited two days, I could have got stuff. I could have got more stuff for that. So I may just order some more. Um, because now all the feather hooks, it was only those VMC ones that were, they have, were doing the sale on before their 20%, most recent 20% sale. Um, so, um, maybe I'll get some more now that they, uh, are having another sale and then I won't, I definitely won't run out because I'm sure I'll find, you know, if I go through my other top order box, I'll probably find more, you know, baits that are, the, the hooks are shot and I really need to, 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 uh, to straighten them out. So, um, so that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions about any baits, let me know how you rig them or anything, but I've, I, I think you guys have seen my flipping rigging and, uh, and, uh, finesse worm rigging enough that you probably know how it, uh, how it goes. Um, but, uh, you know, I want to thank you guys. I, I looked the other day, I think I had over 400 subscribers and I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff because I just do this for fun. Um, I know there are people on YouTube that do YouTube for money, which to me is amazing. Like you could talk about fishing or riding a bike or playing a video game and get paid for it, but it's, it's a thing. Um, so I, I just, I'll talk about that for two seconds. I, I don't really look at analytics and I looked at them the other day because I got an email. I, I never really even checked my my Gmail, because I just use Yahoo all the time, and I saw a thing, here's your analytics, I looked at it, and I said, all right, let me just look at this, see what it is. So you got four, whatever, 410, or whatever subscribers I have, which, thank you, 410 people that want to hear me talk about fishing, is incredible. Um, and then it said, like, 70% of the people that watch your videos are not subscribed to your channel, which is weird. So if you watch it, subscribe. If I get a bunch of subscribers, who knows? I maybe I can make five bucks doing this, <laughs> which I never even could have imagined. And uh, anything I would make doing this, I would just buy more baits and do videos on. Because, um, like I said, I just do this for fun. Um, but so, if you if you're one of those seventy percent of people that watch my videos, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Just hit the subscribe button. Why not? Who knows? Maybe I have more subscribers than I realize. Uh, but that's kind of cool because I never I never pay attention to analytics or stuff on Instagram, any of that stuff. I just don't, to me it doesn't mean anything. But I guess it does. Um, if they're going to send me like a monthly report or a weekly report on it, it must mean something. So, but I know that YouTube, you know, they're in this, they're not just, you know, a bunch of nice guys they are doing this to make, to sell ad time and to make money. I get it. Um, so if, you know, my videos become popular enough that people would put, uh, can put video, uh, ads on them and make money, then it's, 
I get to do what I like to do, and some people can make some money doing it or showing their, their ads on there, which is fine. Um, but that's it. So if you are a watcher but not a subscriber, what the heck, hit the subscribe button. I will thank you. I'll thank you ahead of time. Um, who knows? Like, maybe I have a 1,000 and I don't even know it. Uh, but that's it. So that's the last I'll talk about analytics, I think. Unless I hit a 1,000, then I'll say thanks, everybody. I have a big party, a <laughs> big, big YouTube party. Um, but I think now that I'm rambling, I'll end this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions on any of these shirt baits, Lucky Crafts that are nice, this D10. This will be a good one in the springtime or anytime. Even though I don't throw these in the summer. Um, or any of the soft plastic shirts, just let me know. And, um, you know, if you guys have any ideas on any videos, you know, any baits you want to see, um, just cleaning up my pop bars. I think once I get those hooks in, maybe I'll just do a pop bar video, which I haven't done yet. Because it is that time of year. Uh, it is top water fishing time, July. And I don't know where you guys live, all of you, but I'll tell you, here in the Northeast, we have just got, I mean, I live in Keene, New Hampshire now, and I think they said that this is the most rain Keene has had in July and since the 1950s. So it's like, there are little streams around my house that have been dry that are now like raging, uh, raging. And it just, it, we had like five inches of rain last week or something like that. My pool, my new house has a pool. The water was running out of the skimmer. It was so high like running out, it was so, the water was so high. Um, so hopefully we won't have rain for a couple days. We didn't have any today yet. Knock on my fake wood table and uh, that would be nice. So some of the things could dry out in the yard, um, but that's it. So it kind of catches you guys up with everything. Like I said, I, if I get that land big fish order in, I'll, I'll show you what I got in that. Um, not much, just some a few zoom things and mostly just treble hooks, which are really exciting to, to do a video on. Maybe I'll combine that with a pop bar video. Um, because I got feather the ones with the feathers on them because I like them on the back of pop bars and a few uh, Z cross, um, you know, for wobble heads and jig trailers because I didn't have any junior size and I got some of those. So I'll show, the, I'll show you them when they come in. And if I get anything else, I'll let you know. Um, oh, I do have it, did make an Arden order because I had some money from Arden. I had some gift, uh, some, some, uh, some gift card type deals from them. So I got another rod. So I'll show, I'll show you all that stuff when it comes. Maybe I'll just put it all together and make a video. And I may put together the pictures I have from the Candlewood camp and give you guys info on that, do just a short video, which could help promote the camp too, because it's really awesome. If you have a kid who loves the bass fish, this camp is great. We had kids, we had a kid from Wisconsin. We had a kid from the state of Washington, not DC, the state of Washington. Um, who flew there to go to this because there's just not that kind of camp around where it's just, it's a bass fishing camp. You know, it's a bass fishing camp. And, and the kids had a great time. They had a great time. So um, maybe I'll do a, you know, put those photos together and you can see the photos go through like how Mike Champlain when everybody's head gets chopped off. But <laughs> whatever, you'll get the idea. The fi you want to see the fish. You, you don't care about the faces as much. Uh, but maybe I'll put that together and do a little a video, a little promotion for the uh, camp because I think it's a really a cool thing for kids. Uh, but that's it for now. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.